what is the thing that you hate the most about this industry? Mm. Uh, what what is some of the things that drivers should really really I, I mean outside of pay um that would really make them think twice about get, because there seems to be a lot of upside it seems to be a lot of growth potential it seems to be a lot of ways for you to expand your career outside of being behind that wheel what are some things or the number one thing that you could say, I really do hate this about this industry. Mm. Well, that's a great question. And I, and I never thought about that. Uh, I would say that the, the number one thing that I pr probably hate about this industry is it's extremely cutthroat. And you, it's, it's hard to find honest people in the industry. It's hard to find people who are just trying to be fair because a lot of people are just trying to get ahead. You know, they're, they're, they're just trying to, you know, they're driven by money. And, 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 and a lot of times they're driven by money because they're just trying to stay alive or trying to stay afloat. You know, so it's hard for, for, for them to, you know, be ethical and, 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 and have a value system because they're just so busy just trying to stay above water because they're competing with other companies and so forth and so on. And that's the thing about this industry. The, 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 there's, there's no loyalty. There's no, uh, a lot of times there's just no real respect, man. It's just like you got to kind of get in where you fit in and you just got to figure it out as you go along. And you're going to deal with a lot of different characters and a lot of different types of people. Uh, but ultimately, you have to just kind of find your voice and find your lane and do what you do. You know what I mean? And try to like be above that. And sometimes you have to be the bigger person in a lot of cases. And you're going to come across a lot of people, a lot of disrespectful people in, in some cases, like people who don't talk to you, you know, in, in, like, 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 like a man or like a woman. You know what I mean? Because these, this is a this is a very old, old mind industry. Like it's, 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 uh, you know, it, it, it's a lot of people still in it that just have old ways of thinking. You know what I mean? So you'll come across a lot of times where you'll be challenged. You'll be challenged to put your best, you know, your best face on or your best foot forward. And you have to really like sit back and be like, you know, all right, you know what? You got to focus on your goals. And um, it makes, it makes it difficult to really build relationships it's hard to build relationships with people because there's just so many different types of people in this industry that you have to juggle you know what i mean like because a lot of people in this industry aren't happy and i think that's what it ultimately boils down to a lot of people aren't happy a lot of people are overworked a lot of people are underpaid a lot of people are just in positions to where they're doing it because they have to they don't have a passion for it they don't love it and a lot of times the, the those people are the gatekeepers those are the people that you got to get through or get past in order to get what you want. You know, so you have to deal with a lot of different personalities, man. And like, you have to have very thick skin in order to, to, to kind of get ahead and maneuver through this industry because, you know, it's not going to always be pleasant. Everybody's not of the same mindset. It's not like working for Google or working for Microsoft or something like that. And everybody's like living like laptop lifestyles and everybody's chilling on the beach, you know, every, it's, it's high stress, you know, so you're going to call a customer and somebody might just hang up on you or you may, you know, you may be left on hold for 10 minutes or you may, you know, be treated like you're, you're not trying to help them. It, it, you know what I mean? And it's, and, 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 and don't get me wrong. There are people who are pleasant, but, but the downside is you'll come across that more often than not. And it's like, you have to learn how to navigate through that to still do business because at the end of the day, you're running a business or even if you're a driver, right? Because you'll, and speak from the trucker's perspective as a driver, you've had this, you've, you, you're dealing with all these things all day, right? All these obstacles just from driving, you know, just driving your car from, from, from your house to your office could be a drag, right? Just traffic and, and people got road rage and everything is crazy. So imagine doing that in a big truck, right? <laughs> a, a big long with a 50, 48 foot trailer or a 53 foot trailer and people are cutting in front of you and people are flipping you off. People don't have patience. You're trying to maneuver this same big truck 
that that's about the, the size of five cars with with a bunch of you know a bunch of other vehicles and nobody has patience for you so you got to do that all day and then you get to uh you get to your destination and that person doesn't want to you know deal with you right now because they're busy because there's some nonsense going on in the warehouse and they're like wait and they're giving you an attitude and you're like man i just now i, I rushed to get here and they're like oh, hold on you know you know what i mean like and, and and not being understanding of what you've gone through all day and it could be crazy where you're like, man, this is crazy. But you get used to that. You know what I mean? And if you don't have that thick skin, it's tough. You know, it could be really tough. So I would probably say that's the that's the probably the only thing I hate about it is just that, you know, it, it's hard to build relationships, man. It's, it's hard to deal with people sometimes, you know, but that's once understandable. you. understandable. I mean, it, it is a solitary job. Yeah, yeah. It's a very but once you develop that mindset, you know, um, that's why a lot of truckers like to talk. If you ever see a, tr a, a truck driver, like just catch him somewhere posted by his truck and you start a conversation, he gonna probably talk to you for like three hours. Because <laughs> like you said, it's solitary. You spend a lot of time by yourself and the people that you do interact with don't wanna talk to you because they look at you as somebody who wants something from them. And there's a bunch of other yous who also want something from them and they ain't got the time for none of y'all because they have a boss that wants something from them. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's rough, man. That that that's the that's the toughest part. So mentally you have to prepare yourself for that and understand that that's what you're going to come across and you really can't there's going to be no change in that. That's always going to be how this industry is. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.